Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, Black Lotus here, bringing you my first video on. Oh, okay, super frame lag. Uh, first video here on the channel. Just getting everything loaded in. Turn around, turn, 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 turn. Okay, looks like we're running smoother again. Uh, so yeah, this is my first video here on the channel, bringing you satisfactory let's play. Uh, episode one of season one. Don't know how many there that season there will be, but um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, Quickly getting some wood, might as well not miss out, since I did start the rocky desert for my first, because I mean, who doesn't love a little bit of the rocky desert, uh, with random prisons dropping, let's, actually I might go pick that up, uh, so yeah, don't know where I'm gonna build yet, but I do have an idea, thinking around about here, because I knew, know there's like a few nice nodes, it's, I think, three or four iron nodes, two limestone, Two, two or three copper so yeah i did skip also skip through to tier one don't want don't want to like waste time setting up the whole hub because that quite that's quite take a long time to set up uh okay nope come here seriously just die okay Get some of those plasmas, but the remains and a power slug. Okay, that's done. So I'm quickly gonna go to spot and then I'll see you guys soon with another random prison dropping down. Gotta love it. Okay, so I think I found the spot. I'm gonna like place the hub right about um uh, about I might as well go a bit deeper. There. Uh, actually, no. Never mind, that's gonna clip through there. Uh, there. Okay. I think that'll work. Just gonna get rid of these marks. And at the back. Okay. That's done. Now we can check uh, build the base building. I kinda wanna focus on base building, but logistics. Uh, field research also kinda important. Get that man, get that research, research going. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna focus on the base building real quick. I'm gonna set up uh, at least one miner per node. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I might even die here. No, never mind. I, I survived. Quickly get on a miner. Over here, running into a. Smelter. Uh, constructor. I mean, the constructor. Just building a really inefficient setup here, just for iron. Okay, so I got that up and running. Placed the lines, just random, just a random small setup here. Uh, the constructor I'm first gonna leave inactive, uh, just until I unlock splitters or something. Um, but just to get that iron, so I don't have to craft that them into in, in that. In, so I don't have to craft it into ingots. Um, so yeah, that'll just work. Super inefficient, but hey, I need to start somewhere, right? More presents there. Might go and collect them somewhere. First, I'm gonna set up a limestone to get the base building research done. And so yeah, once I'm done with the limestone, I'll be back. Right, uh, so that's up and running, got that working, um, might as well check to re quickly craft uh, another one. Um, we're gonna check um, and get the base building milestone done, so I can get some base building and, f and get foundations underneath these, but splitters also are gonna be super important. So yeah, um, oh well. It's better than base building, I guess. So, yeah, I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so, uh, changed my mind. Headed for logistics. Uh, finished that off. Seeing the beautiful robot, or whatever you want to call this thing. Uh, fly away, delivering the resource, uh, resources to who knows where. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so, changed up, did logistics first, uh, just to optimize the efficiency a bit more I'm gonna focus on base building now but almost oh, well I do have the plating 
and oh well, <laughs> condeposited, <laughs> me trying to deposit it, uh, condeposit now, but I do have most of the resources, uh, only the rods that missing, that's missing at the moment, but I did set the constructor up to just like switch between the two resources, so almost got all the rods, might as well just handcraft the last bit of plates to get that set up, and over there is, yeah, just did a, also same basic setup like here, did there with a wiring that's just like kind of automated for the most of it most part um so yeah just gonna wait for the uh, pot to return and uh, then i'm gonna send these off and then we can start actually doing some kind of base building to, to some extent to just get a more efficient setup um i think i also did unlock yeah uh, uh, yeah, I did unlock storage containers, so that will also help a lot. And splitters. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys as soon as the pod returns, and I got all the materials in and sending off the pod and sending the pod off again. Okay, so I do have all the materials now. I'm gonna wait the pod for it to return. While I wait that, I kind of want to give you guys kind of um like inside of what I'm planning for this uh, beautiful Let's Play series. Uh, for the series, I am gonna like focus a lot on building a decent architecture because my building skills uh, like bu actually building nice builds uh, it's quite lacking I can't build that quite beautiful builds um, so yeah I'm gonna try to focus on like setting up nice builds but also that fits uh, the, the, the logistics of oh, damn pronunciation the logistics kind of gonna want to get that also now looking beautiful inside and outside uh, so that's kind of what I'm focused uh, focus on for this, like, let's put this series, this one. Um, I'm gonna focus on that, and yeah, we'll see you down the line what kind of challenges comes up and so on. But yeah, just to, like, tell you guys what I'm planning for this. So yeah, pot here, I'm gonna set up the base building, put the items in there, and send it up again. Uh, next, I kind of want to... Yeah, I, yeah, I need also need field research. Like this is one that I do need. So yeah, I kind of want to unlock field research. That's a must that I need to unlock. Um, for to unlock actually the ability to like use the yeah to like just alter the output system to make things run perfectly efficient instead of the minor minor like running stopping running stopping because it's producing 60 but actually i can now put another smelter again beside it split her and then it can run efficient so yeah but uh quickly gonna make well add a few more smelters get the basic resources set up um since my concrete is still going over there also gonna change that up a bit I uh, should probably focus on actually finishing up the, 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 the uh, limestone. But yeah, I'm quickly going to change this up, make this efficient as most efficient as possible. And then we'll move on to one of the next stuff. Oh, maybe actually iron. Copper can wait a bit. It's running, but I don't need copper at the moment that much of. Uh, but I do need the field research up and running. So yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so uh, this is kind of the. Let's be leaving that now. Uh, this is kind of like what I went for. Ah, okay, actually, I can get up on the um, miner. Um, this is kind of what I just went for. Just like. Kind of just. What I did want to like turn. Like, let the miner face this way, but. Uh, yeah, that when I brought the conveyor and the. Uh, splitter it was kind of uneven and I don't have barriers at the moment to fix that so can kind of just like went around and did that split them up split them up and let them run into a storage uh, but it's still gonna run inefficient since um, it use it does use like 45 limestone per minute and this only produces 60 and I can't underclock this one so yeah I have to get that field research done, but this is like up and running, just quickly gonna do that, that, and that. Okay, hit that run, finish up, and this is the last one, okay. 
So, put that in there, there, and there, and send the pot off. Okay, great. Uh, okay, probably return in 2 minutes and 50 seconds in counting. Um, let's see. I kind of want to get obstacle clearing because one problem I did see is the lack of leaves. Well, it is the rocky desert, so I didn't suspect it much, but... Um, yeah, the biomass burners... Uh, and I don't like that, but that's inefficient, whatever. Uh, biomass burners going through 6.67 per second each, and... Yeah, as you can see, I don't have much. I do have a bit of leaves that I collected a while back. Uh, well, I was going to collect the... When, when I went to collect the wire over there, I did, like, get a few leaves uh, on the way there. But, yeah, I really do need to unlock coal power as soon as possible. But I think I'm going to go and try... Well, this smart plating, I need that. I might go and try and skip ahead actually to get just to get the uh, phase the first phase of the space adventure to get the coal power up and running but before that I do need uh, the sync program I really do need that um, and obstacle clearing and part assembly need to focus on those for like conveyor mark 2 can wait for a while I'm not gonna focus on conveyor mark 2 for yeah, well, because that's 50 reinforced plating, and that's a lot. And I'm not even producing plating at the moment, so yeah. I think I'm gonna set... Yeah, okay, obstacle clearing will be the fastest at the moment. I'm gonna do that one. But that while I do that, I might as well just put up the extra uh, smelter over here, because I didn't indeed do that. I was busy handcrafting everything for that. And might as well start a bit of field research uh, with the MAM. Where is it? Uh, okay, I need to do five reinforced plating. Gonna do that, set up that, um, set up the MAM, start some f uh, research there. Okay, I'll be right back. Just quickly gonna fix some things up here. Maybe try to just place foundations, make it more efficient so that it works better. I uh, didn't, yeah, okay, and I have some basic walls uh, that I can work with, but. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Just gonna quickly set these things up, then I'll be back. Okay, like a uh, quick small update. Um, yeah, didn't do very much, um, but uh, I did like kind of build a conveyor floor, uh, which I'm gonna use slipping for the first part of it because I don't have um, conveyor holes, uh, floor holes at the moment. So I'm probably gonna just like clip the ele um, conveyor elevator through. Uh, just to feed the smelters so yeah i'm just gonna gonna use a small um conveyor uh logistics floor uh placing everything on top uh there's at least like if i'm gonna expand i'm gonna most likely gonna expand in that direction or maybe that way uh i'll see when i'll see what i'm gonna do when i get there um but yeah that's what i'm doing at the moment uh so yeah let's see where this gets me to Okay guys, small update. So, uh, two smelters, three constructors, three storage containers. Uh, this one is using doing iron plates, iron rods, and that one is doing screws. It's not 100% efficient, I know that. Uh, but this is just for like kind of starting me up, um, starting me off with the basic resources that I do need and need to set up. Because handcrafting, really not a big fan of that. Uh, uses a lot of time where it can be doing something else. So, yeah, I uh, got that set up for those wondering what's going on underneath. Very small, didn't do much, but iron plates just going down, going up again in the container to keep it clean above. Uh, the iron rods coming down here, running into the splitter, um, splitting off 50-50, uh, uh, or whatever the rods do divide into. But yeah, even splitting up, in the, running in the container, the other one running down here, running into the screws above. And the screws, I just ran a conveyor straight through because I couldn't run an a elevator down because then it clips into the um, conveyor underneath it. So yeah, I didn't quite plan that correctly, but oh well. It's not that like it's that big of a setup anyway, so 
few hiccups here and there. S still trying to like work with the conveyor floors. It's like the second time I've ever done this. So um, yeah, conveyor floors. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm quickly gonna try to get the obstacle clean cleaning clearing researched uh, to get the chainsaw so I can actually get biomass a bit faster because uh, at the moment I'm worried when I clean this up gonna need to put another biomass burner and that's not more another biomass burner I need to worry about fueling so yeah it's gonna get that up um, done and then probably gonna start with the copper get that up and running and also on foundations a bit more efficient than this one uh, this is basically just to get the basic resources up so I can I don't have to worry about screws rods and plates because I do use plates mostly for the conveyor belts mark one um, and after that we'll see what I do next okay so um, another update um, did research a bit of the fixness holiday event stuff um, not sure where I do get that item to research it probably gonna have to buy it from the, the awesome shop I'm probably gonna have to buy those from the awesome shop or I can craft it I'm not sure I haven't checked so yeah I did the power I did the research power slugs aiming to research the um, overclocking but do need more power slugs for that I know there's one over there there's also a yellow one somewhere up there behind this massive rock and I do think there's one up here I'm not sure about that I do think there's one and then there's somewhere one sitting over another 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 rock somewhere in that direction so yeah do need to do a little bit of exploration but I don't have the blade runners at the moment and then exploring becomes kind of a hassle because I do run super slow so uh, well I will, I'll worry about that when I get there and there's a calendar that's nice can I do anything with it ah hello what's that ornament bundle okay that's nice getting okay so I guess this happens every day you get you can kind of come collect countdown till Christmas um, and I don't think I can use this at the moment so yeah okay but um, quickly gonna do some stuff and try to get the auto clearing done now and power that up and then I'll see you guys again okay so, um, we'd find out where to craft the branches, uh, in the constructor apparently, can't hunt and craft them. Um, did check, didn't see it, so, um, did craft them in the, um, in the constructor. Uh, one fixman's gift equals a branch. Um, so, just, yeah, gonna set up the most random, um, Constructor and storage container here, and I need plates. Oh, that should be enough plates. Um, storage container right about here. Not gonna help if I do it like that. Gonna line it up. Do that. Fix my gifts in there. And tree branch. Now it's just me hoping that when I do connect everything about there also my whole system doesn't crash because I'm using too much power. So yeah, I'm quickly gonna do that actually and just we can fill this up. And okay, I can do that and that. Okay. Uh I might be fine. I might be fine. I might be fine. We'll see. Uh, so, did finish setting it up. Just here and there. I know it does not look really good at the moment. Uh, just a basic setup, just to get the things up and running. Um, and I did realize, um, as I was setting this up super randomly, uh, never connected the miner. So, that should also um, run, run in um, to here. Which is six. Uh, so I'm just quickly gonna do this, turn it here, put it there, same on the side. Luckily you can't see the, you won't be able to see how the um, resources are clipping through, so I do like that. But still prefer the um, conveyor hole 
But yeah, I'm quickly gonna set up miners, split it, let it run through here, and this one isn't connected. Uh, okay, now it's connected. Power. Well, that's gonna be a problem. I might be. I might have to actually set up another biomass burner. But yeah, quickly gonna connect, connect this up and um, yeah, waiting for that to run finish up and then I'll see you guys again. So yeah, I'm probably gonna use the, this floor for the basic resources. Um, resources, uh, like screws, rods, plates, you name it, because that's, well, you do mostly use screws and rods and stuff like that for basically everything and wire and cable. So probably gonna keep this floor to those basic resources. Resources moving upwards, I'm gonna use that for the, uh, using the same blurs getting the reinforced plating and the rotors because you do use that for I think about mid game to early late game um, until you get the rest of the stuff and then they those reinforced plating stuff kind of just falls away to some extent not all the way so yeah um, but yeah gonna do this keep this like this uh, keep this the setup like it is at the moment Probably gonna expand it, get it 100% efficient because uh, screws and rods are gonna go slow. Um, but the blade should be fine. Um, and that is producing 60, which both of these, um, both of the smelters are using the whole node, so that shouldn't get clogged up. Um, don't have awesome sinks for overflow, but also don't have small splitters, so yeah. Um, but. Quickly gonna check the finished obstacle clearing. Um, listening to me babbling on about um, this whole setup. <laughs> uh, quickly gonna finish the obstacle cl um, clearing milestone, and then probably gonna move on to parts assembly. Uh, well, between parts assembly and resource sink, because I kind of do want to get the sink for the blueprints, like for extra foundations and stuff, because using um, iron plates isn't really ideal for my, so I kind of want to get this and the um, gun upgrade customization. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'll de I'll decide about about these two when I get there. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so um, yeah, I did find something out. Um, there's a beautiful um, calendar that yeah turns out you should find all the different numbers like. Depending on what date it is, so two, four, f oh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I did get like five tickets from that. Uh, two quantum computers, this weird ornament thingy, and a hundred presents. Uh, don't know if I'm missing something, but yeah, I think that's everything I got from that. So yeah, it turns out that's what that was. Um, Got some tree branches um, because yeah, why not? Uh, probably gonna have to change that up to candy canes now because that's what I need for the next research. Gonna run that in there and uh, yeah. Okay, so I do have most of it. I'm quickly gonna craft the last few cables and fetch the concrete and then we're gonna send the pot up again.
Okay, so that's done. Um, put that in there. Those and that. And launch the pod again. Input man, your parts, there are great notes. Goodbye, pod. Still don't know where you're going though. Um, so we got the. Oh. Wow. I sent it off and forgot what we got. Ah, uh, yeah, obstacle clearing. Um, wow, well, first time building an equipment workshop. Okay, what are minor is what I need for the chainsaw. Five reinforced, uh, reinforced plating. Oh, I don't need the chainsaw at the moment. At least I do get the, 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 the solid fire fuel. That's nice. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. Next episode, where I'm gonna check to finish a part assembly, resourcing, um, get more research done on the man. Definitely, gonna try to find some um, fungus-like vegetation. Oh, never mind. Um, Caterium, um, and maybe some. Gonna look for some raw quartz to get that research up and running, so I can make some glass and stuff. And also gonna finish up the copper that I haven't started yet and probably gonna try to optimize the iron a bit more so yeah I do hope you guys enjoyed it if you did do leave a like if you didn't dislike leave a comment on what I can improve or what you would like me see do in the future so yeah but I hope you guys enjoy and see you next time bye